Good morning, Steve Fried with the morning grain comments. Markets are mostly lower, got beans down about one cent. Um, the overnight high was 12.21 on the march. We're now trading at 12.12. Soybean oil is gaining on meal with palm oil prices uh, higher. Uh, corn's about unchanged at 445, while wheat's down four cents at 588 in Chicago March. Kansas City's down six cents at 602. Minneapolis is up a penny at 696. Outside markets, stocks are higher. Uh, looks like the dollar's a little bit lower, while crude's a little bit higher. Gold's a little bit lower. You got coffee, cocoa, sugar, cotton, uh, all uh, higher, <clears throat> and. Uh, there's not a lot of news uh, over the weekend. Uh, the uh, open interest continues to jump higher in corn, uh, highest open interest since January of uh, 2022 uh, when we had $8 corn. So uh, we continue to see a fairly large um, short positions uh, by the funds. They're short about 270 corn, almost 70 wheat. 80 beans, short uh, 10 meal now, and 50 soybean oil. Um, when we look at some of the data, uh, as, as far as concerned about China's economy slowing down, and that will offer uh, some resistance to commodity prices, um, first half of 2024 could see uh, mostly uh, sideways, uh, but if the dollar, uh, trend lower in late 2024, we could actually see some support in commodity prices. Seems like we, we're finding uh, demand in the corn market, uh, especially domestic, uh, below the 450 area. Same thing as as we get closer to $12 on the marsh beans, we find some, some support. South America, uh, Brazil weather's okay, Argentina's a little dry. Uh, but I think that there's rain in the long-term forecast. And so a bigger South America supply uh, continues to offer resistance to the corn and soybean market. Uh, we continue to see escalation uh, tension uh, in the Middle East, and that raises a little bit of concern about the flow of grain, especially from the Black Sea. Uh, most companies are now avoiding uh, the Red Sea. It makes longer trips uh, for goods uh, either going through uh, South of Africa <clears throat> or um, around that area. So uh, we'll see how much that impacts uh, consumer prices uh, down the long term. Um, <clears throat> we also noted that uh, the NOPA crush continues to be record high and that soybean oil stocks are also on the rise. Um, private people are looking at a carryout around 290 for beans this year, 400 next year, uh, corn 2260, next year 2830, and wheat around 668. So uh, I think that uh, rallies are capped by concern about demand and farmers selling, and breaks are supported by increased consumer buying.